hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to get 3d visualization of your digital elevation model you know we've used them them to using a um, global map right good so we've used them them to carry out different tasks we want to now show you how to see maybe the vertical exaggeration and you know some other stuff of your digital elevation model so let's open it up all right so this is the then we have been working with yes and then okay right good so we have the them here now this um, digital elevation model is devoid of um, the hill shading so we can come up here and then enable the what the hill shading so that we can see better pronouncement of what of the terrain right good like the configuration of the terrain right good so now we are going to move to the 3d view to see how we can view this our uh, terrain in 3d because this is more like just seeing it in 2d right good so we come to view and then we go to 3d view or we can use what the 3d viewer yeah the show 3d view on what on this panel right good so let's come up to view and then let's what go to 3d view now on 3d view we can actually toggle it around you know there are different um view positions the top south east west and rest of that so basically you can just click on each of them to see how what your digital elevation model changes based on what how you want to view it right good so now another important part is what to emphasize or to what to suppress the height now this deals with what the exaggeration right now if you click on suppressing you will see that what the vertical exaggeration is about 0.25 right good so now let's take it to maybe let's keep on using what the emphasize them um, height to see good to see how well we can what increase the what the vertical exaggeration of what our digital elevation model this will now give us a better perspective let's zoom in to this point this will now give us a better perspective of how the how undulating yeah how undulating our terrain is right but now there's a shortcut you can use them um, shift e so as you keep using shift e you are increasing the what the vertical exaggeration and you can see rightly that um on the screen the vertical exaggeration has moved from 0.5 i guess to what 2.5 so let's see if we can take it to something around 6 or thereabout or maybe even 10 that will give us a better perspective of how it is although there's a caveat that you don't take it to maybe a very high value that it distorts what the the visualization because the exaggeration only helps in what individualization it does not add or increase to the elevation value right good so now you need to strike a balance so that um while you are using the while you are using the exaggeration feature you don't distort what how you visualize your digital elevation model so so far we have seen that yes you know at the initial point we could only view we could view our terrain as though it were a plain surface now we can view our terrain seeing somewhat some high points and some low points so if maybe you have generated a dam that you know has some valleys or maybe some hilly parts this um, 3d visualization maybe this 3d viewer will enable you to see how high and you know when you've actually worked on the exaggeration to enable you to see how high or how low your hills and maybe your valleys are right good however the colors are there like um, let's come back to you know the colors are there the color ramp is there to help you you know basically we've seen that these um, is it reddish parts are the top part then the big green down to blue are the parts of what um, lower elevation but they are all appearing like on a plain surface without having any elevation feature hence the 3d viewer right good so with this you have been able to see that yes your color ramp is actually in order because if you look closely these are the according to the scale these are the points that have higher elevations right good you can also change what the day like um the surrounding environment right good now let's use um sunset 
good you can see how the terrain is being modeled as though it were in a sunset we can use what either a um, music cloudy light rays you know you can just use these different options to see how you can visualize the what the digital um elevation model using what global mapper right because now let's still keep it at the sunset again you can also what activate what the water level to turn it on or to turn it off and then here you can either select how you increase or decrease this um, relatively shows you the position of maybe water on your, let's say in your terrain right because now from or let's say according to our digital elevation model this part of the dam is almost blue and then that shows that it's very close to the water right because now with the visualization we have been able to see that yeah this point is very low and then on our scale we saw that yes the lowest point uh like, yeah the color let's say yeah the representation of the lowest point is actually blue which um, is somewhere around there that shows that perhaps there's a water body maybe let's just generalize it, there's a water body somewhere around there right good so now that is another importance or let's say that's one of the essence of perhaps putting on the water yeah the water level yeah, putting it on or putting it off so you can maybe work on what increasing or decreasing what the water level based on what the requirements you have for your project so there are different options you can you know play around with see how they affect the 3d view or let's say the 3d visualization of your digital elevation model or any other terrain data that you want to use on global mapper so thanks for coming to class and we hope we have introduced you and then we have shown you and provided solution to how to use global mapper for 3d visualization we are going to see you on the next one ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye